One year ago, I put an ecosystem into a jar. I sealed the lid and I put it on my shelf. I added a light to it and I kept it reasonably warm. Uh, as it is now, the jar, the ecosphere, uh, things are going very well. Um, the tank looks great. There's uh, a plethora of life inside. There are water mites. Uh, there are limpet snails. There are aquatic earthworms of some variety. Um, lots of mites. There's bladder snails and ostracods. I've even seen a few cyclops. I'm really blown away by this tank. It's done really well over the last year. And I'm glad to present it to you as it is. So I'm Bucket Ponds and this is the Pond Ecosphere one year update. Uh, this was a surprise for me. Um, I was doing a rotational shot of the tank here, just giving you an idea of what it looks like all the way around. And uh, I saw this guy. I've seen him before, and I've been really curious, like, you know, was I, did I blink and, like, imagine it? No, there's, there's a diving beetle in there. A predatory diving beetle. He's lived in there for at least a year now. Um, I don't think they're breeding. I only see one. But yeah, the, the ecosphere is capable of supporting a somewhat larger predator, you know, in the context of a nanotank like this. He has to eat live prey, and uh, he's eating somebody. He's eating something in here. So that's really cool. The ecosphere is supporting a uh, predator. There's a full ecosystem in this jar working right before our eyes. But more, more than that, he, uh, he breathes air. He doesn't even breathe water. So he'll come up to the surface like he did here. He'll dip his backside up and get a bubble of air and go back down. But that shows that the uh, air quality in the ecosphere is breathable. You know, it's, it's a breathable mixture. It's, it's decent. That's really nice. You know, even the, uh, the air in here is pretty clean, which gives me uh, high hopes about future projects. And here we have a limpet snail, or a series of shots of limpet snails. Um, generally you won't see them move and they just look like a little splotch in the glass, but with this new lens that I have I'm able to zoom in. And they seem to have eyes and they do move. You can see them here, I've sped up the video a little bit, and he is scooting around pretty good. Um, I love these little limpet snails they're not much as a pet species but they're fun to keep anyway and just to see especially now with this lens uh, so yeah they've been living in the sealed ecosphere along with the other creatures for a year now and uh, they're doing well everything looks great so yeah there's a bucket ponds limpet snail right there Now as you can see here, I've got a few great shots of the plants and mosses inside of this jar. Uh, there are some spike rush and some hypnum moss and some other plants in here. Uh, for the most part, the plants have done really well and they're, uh, they're doing their job. They're processing waste in the water, and nitrates and nitrites and turning it into uh, uh, more plant material. And that's exactly what we want. So. Uh, in that respect, uh, this amount of plants has reached like a perfect balance with the life inside of this aquarium. Uh, water mites. You can see a few shots of these guys cruising around. Um, there's a lot of them in the substrate, in the soil, and the detritus layer. They're uh, in innumerable. There's so many you can't count them. They're everywhere. Obviously, they love this container. Um, they must have come in on the original samples. And uh, that's great. That's fine with me. Uh, from what I've read, these uh, water mites eat detritus. They eat dirt and debris and leftover food, decaying plants and things like that. They function as a cleaning crew for my ecosphere. Alright, if you've watched other videos on my channel, you'll recognize this guy. This is the earthworm eating debris. Um, uh, just a striking shot here of this earthworm, this aquatic worm. Um, no idea what species he is. I've had a few of these now and I haven't been able to identify them yet. But you can see right through him. And you can see his little mouth eating dirt and debris and decaying plants. And he's just gobbling it up and you can see him swallow it. It's just wild. Um, I don't see much footage like this in these sorts of videos on YouTube. So uh, yeah, I hope you kind of like that. Expect to see more of those types of things as I get them on camera.
If you want to like and subscribe, that'd be really cool. If not, well, I'll drop a comment. Tell me why. I've got to improve. I'm serious about this YouTube thing and uh, I want to get the ball rolling. So if you have any tips, tricks, I don't know, content you'd like to see, updates, things like that, uh, don't be afraid to drop a comment. My name's BP, Bucket Ponds, and uh, you can know where to find me. And uh, hey guys, always check the hashtag Bucket Ponds. You can find some stuff online about my channel in particular. So, thanks again.